What's yeah. the gas? You have to direct What? that question at Mahit. That's true. I don't know why news comes to me. None of us have had any pickup lines. I think unless you girls are not telling me something. I had heard that I was actually gay. I'm not important enough. Hi, this is Neelam. Hi, this is Bhavna. Hi, this is Mahit. Hi, this is Seema, and you're watching Mashable India. Any one rumor that you must have heard about yourself and wasn't true because obviously that's rumor. I was actually gay. So um, when I heard gay? about this. <laughs> <laughs> so when I heard about this um I was like okay you know I mean you know I guess this is how rumors start out of out of nowhere and this came back to me it wasn't written about but it was just via 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 I got to hear about it I think people were suspect that we got married because I was pregnant and that's not true <laughs> nothing comes to mind I'm not that important I'm not important enough So honestly, nothing comes to mind that I have heard a rumor about myself. The rumor I heard is that on the table, while they were stitching me up, they also did my stomach surgery or whatever is done to flatten your stomach. What is it called? <laughs> Who's most likely to give terrible advice? Seema gives me a lot of advice. If you say I give you wrong advice, oh, I will sometimes come you do. Come on. Whack you. No, Seema. Oh, balls. What about you? I'm very. I think Seema thinks that sometimes I'm very um uh harsh on my children. I tell them the ground reality. Any worst fashion advice that you must have received? Some of the outfits that I wore were absolutely hideous, ridiculous. Like the color combinations used to be uh purple and yellow. And I used to get fan mail actually telling me that, you know, oh you're so well dressed and I used to take it seriously and I got carried away. No one's offered me any advice on my fashion. Good, bad or ugly, it's been my fault. When I look back at my old photos, I realize what the hell was I doing? What the hell was I thinking? I was very into glitter eye shadow. I look mad. Listen, no one gives me fashion advice. There's no because I mean I'm in fashion right but I've experimented yeah. a lot over the years and when I look back I'm horrified I'm mortified I can't believe that I've actually worn the things I've worn or I experiment with my hair I experiment with my makeup so there are lots of fashion faux pas I've made describe the person next to you in three words first word hyper solid yeah guilty of hyper or solid hysterical She's a good listener, understanding. She's very kind. Mahip is very, very entertaining. Always had a blast when we were together. And uh, Mahip is very straightforward. What you see is what you get. Who's most likely to get upset for stupid reasons? Can I say all? No, yeah, only Mahip. Because, uh, I can. I can do whatever I want. Be quiet. <laughs> yes, I think that everyone, in their own way, um, I fought with all of them. at some given point of time and i think that yeah they can get upset for stupid reasons who's most likely to forget important dates and birthdays that's so My obvious <laughs> like always confused with dates and she yeah. forgets very very important days if there was no instagram i would have had no friends because she would forget yeah, to wish every any embarrassing moment that you remember So there's this How? song. I knew you'd know. Remember? I knew it. I knew it. She has broken her phone apart. She's calling me from a landline to say, "How can I get the message back?" I said, "You sent it to the universe, like you send all your hopes <laughs> and want. Message is gone, <laughs> and it's not returning." But the other girl was quite a sport, and she took it well. But Mahi has died. She was. That's one day I've seen Mahi dying. Till that girl messaged yeah. her back. friend you know so she was feeling bad it was <laughs> it was yeah it wasn't a nice <laughs> message i'm thinking when have i embarrassed I... myself in them <laughs> 25 years ago when neelam was a little bit more mad seema seema <laughs> neelam and oh, i had i mean i am talking you stuck dark, chewing up in her hair <laughs> in my hair <laughs> as very jealous of my long hair. She had the most beautiful long hair. She stuck angry. I, I was so upset. Head. I don't know. I was I was jealous. So I stuck gum in her hair, and she walked around the no, whole party. No, you were not jealous. You were not jealous. <laughs> you were just behaving mad. Okay, so Mahib, any instance that you remember of Seema? There are so many. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to say so that. So you can talk about more than one or two if you want to. 
No, not necessary. But no. honestly, not necessary. But yesterday, I spoke about you know her fashion thing where her thing burst open. I mean, I remember we were out. We were in Baroda. All of us were there. We had to go for a yeah. party, and she stepped out in this <laughs> slinky outfit, and I think she bent down, and the whole zip went brrr, opened. <laughs> <laughs> she had no other clothes. And I only carried that one outfit. I didn't carry a bag. One outfit. So I had to go in my so flight. So it, it was a very fancy schmancy party, and this one has arrived in tracks and sneakers and. But she owned it. I thought that was funny. Mm-hmm. I stood out. Who was most likely to unable to keep a secret to themselves? That also, let me tell you. I think everyone's good at keeping secrets, no? But it spreads. Yeah. Because you always have that one friend that you tell. and that one friend has that one friend 